Welcome to my channel and to this video. If you're looking for free TV signal, yes, local channels for free, hopefully we can help you out. We've got a one directional high definition antenna in the attic right here. It was like 45 bucks or so. And we're gonna be comparing it to this omnidirectional antenna, one that you actually plug into your TV and like put on the wall right next to it, right? To see which one is the winner. Now, before we start, I should tell you that my one directional antenna is already installed. It's an indoor antenna in my attic and it's already wired into my house. In other words, it's already, if you plug in a TV uh, into any jack around the house, it will receive the signal from this, um, this antenna. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you. Click that like button if this video does help you out and subscribe to the channel, share the video with somebody else, friends, family. That would be awesome, help the channel grow. Appreciate that. Back to business here. Okay, so this is my current setup, okay? It's it's an, a one directional high definition antenna. And basically you point it toward wherever the signal is coming from. And you, there's a website, I'll put a link in the description below for the website that I use to find the signal. And so you gotta kinda get your, your Google Maps out and say, okay, which direction, am I pointing north here or south here? Uh, and you gotta point it toward that direction, okay? Uh, and that's gonna opt optimize the best signal for you. Now this uh, particular, uh, I kinda jimmy rigged a setup here with this metal, kinda like this pole thing, and it's actually going into a stud. Basically I wanted uh, it to rest on something, right? As opposed to attaching it to the wood. Um, one of the beams up there, the, the joist or something like that. So, and then I just got this old weight uh, piece and it kind of sits in here like that. It's perfect. Now downstairs below this, this comes with a little device that you can plug in and you can actually control, you press the little button down below and it actually moves it left or right. So you can rotate it. So you don't have to get up in your attic every time. Um, to find the best signal, but I don't really like that because it's, you're kind of doing it blind. You can't really see well which way is it actually pointing, right? The alternative would be this omnidirectional TV antenna. Again, this is like forty bucks or so. I bought this online, and we're gonna give it the test because I was curious about with you know the development of technology and uh, the progression of technology getting better and better, right? Um, cause I did look at this like years ago and said, no, I want a unidirectional one, which is why I installed the one in my attic. Um, but would this one be better? Would it have better capabilities in terms of where we live in a signal that, that answer depends on where you live, right? For example, if you live in a Valley, you're going to have probably bad luck with, with any antenna. Um, but that was my big question here. Which one is better? So let me show you around this piece. It's got a, a, a power adapter. You actually have to plug this one in. And it's got a USB too. I don't know if that's particularly helpful, but and then you've got the cable cable jack here. Um, well, the USB is helpful because if you're if you've got a smart TV with a USB input, you can actually power this device with the USB input on the back of your TV, which is very helpful. As opposed to having an ugly cord dropping down and plugging into the outlet down there. Can you see that? So and you've got a lot of cord that you'd have to kind of conceal back there, but it's definitely possible. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this test, I'm going to bring this omnidirectional one up into the attic because I want to kind of compare apples to apples here. I want to have both of them in the same position, right? I don't want that omnidirectional one downstairs um, while this one's up in the attic. That wouldn't be a valid comparison, I don't think. So we're going to actually bring this one up into the attic and I'll run an extension cord. My attic does, by the way, have an outlet up there because when they were building the house, they probably wanted an outlet to run their power tools, right? And um, you don't need to know what any of this hot mess is with wires and stuff like that. Um, but basically I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the, I'm gonna have no signal coming in to the house or into the TV whatsoever, okay? So that's kind of what it looks like. And I'm gonna do the broadcasting test and auto program to see how many channels it actually comes up with. And it looks like the TV is picking up six basic local channels with no input. So that's just kind of default. Now let's hook up this omnidirectional antenna and do the same thing. We'll have the TV scan. It looks like 40 channels by air. Now TV plus does not count. That's internet based. Next we'll switch out the unidirectional antenna. We'll plug that in and run the test again. 
And it looks like we have a winner. 49 channels. That beats the 40 from the other omnidirectional antenna. So the winner here is clear. I like, and I'm keeping this unidirectional antenna as opposed to the omnidirectional. That's going back. Thank you so much. Hopefully this has helped you out.